So, you're going to study computer science at university. You've probably looked at the course spec, you've probably heard experiences from other students, you've probably done your own research, but you want to know what it's really like studying computer science at university. And as someone who's graduated with a computer science degree from Loughborough University, I'm here to tell you all about the experience. What's up guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, this channel is all about career, university and lifestyle. Quick shout out, thank you guys so much. We're now at 1,000 subscribers or over 1,000 subscribers. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. But putting that to one side, in today's video, I wanted to talk to you about what you need to be aware of when you start your computer science degree. Because at the end of the day, you wanna get the good grades. You wanna get good grades, you wanna get good grades, you wanna get a good job. You wanna do well. So get your tea, get your crisps, get your popcorn, get whatever you need. And let's delve right into this topic because starting university can be a bit of a life-changing experience, especially if you are away from home. But before we get into the video, like I said, not too long ago, please hit that subscribe button, like this video, and leave a comment down below. That all helps this channel out massively. So I'd really appreciate that. And let's get straight into it. All right, so on the screen, you should see the topics that we're going to cover. And just to begin, let me tell you a little bit about myself, if you don't know already. I studied computer science at Loughborough University. I ended my degree with a first class and I'm moving into law. If you haven't seen my video of why I'm leaving computer science, make sure you check that out. But my computer science degree was four years long. The reason it was four years was because I did an industrial placement. I did it at a telecoms com I did it. I did it. I did it at a telecoms community. I did it at a telecoms company. I've also made quite a few videos on this channel talking about my computer science experience. So if you haven't watched them already, make sure you check them out. But yeah, that's a really high level explanation of where I am in terms of my computer science journey. So enough of that. Let's get straight into the nitty gritties of the degree. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is the actual course structure. So at my university, which was Loughborough University, my course was pretty much split into three main sections. The first was programming, as you would probably expect. The second area would be your theory. So this is understanding how computer systems work. And then the final area would be your maths or logic. And this is pretty much maths and logic yeah yeah so when you start your computer science course you might find that the actual first year course is split equally amongst those sections but as you go into your second year and your final year it might become a little bit more programming heavy or theory heavy or it really depends on your options if your university allows you to choose modules but at my university i would say that as the years went on the course became a little bit more programming heavy. So yeah, that's the course. Now let's go on to the next thing to consider when you're studying computer science, and that is getting a good laptop. I know from experience that having a laptop that isn't well specced out can cost a lot of time and frustration later on. And you don't really want that when you're doing your degree. Personally, when I made a switch to MacBooks, I found that many of my computer related issues were just gone and i would say that if you get a mac with 16 gigabytes of ram an i8 or i9 processor or even better if you get one of the new m1 chips you should find that your computer is able to handle pretty much all of the software that is required in your computer science degree i'm not too familiar with windows anymore but the main things that you would need to be aware of is literally your ram your processor and if you can get a good gpu as well that definitely helps especially if you consider doing a more module that requires computer animations or something like that. So yeah, I would say don't overthink it too much, but I would say make sure that you have a good processor, good RAM, and if you're willing to spend a little bit more, make sure that you have a good amount of solid state memory. Ideally, one terabyte would be would be great. So once you get a good laptop, you're going to be on a good way to begin your computer science degree strongly. The third thing that I'm going to mention is the fact that your A-levels, yes, they are helpful, but they're not essential for your computer science degree. And I know that many people who study computer science at university will probably have studied computer science, maths and physics at A-level. But honestly, I don't think 
that really matters. Your university might have requirements, but most computer science courses in the UK assume that you are new to computer science and so in your first year, you're treated as though you are a newbie. So if you are a computer science prodigy, chances are that when you start your computer science course, you're going to start at level one. Obviously things do pick up, but I would say that if you have A-levels that aren't physics, maths or computer science, and you really want to study computer science at university, I would say you don't need to worry too much. And questions about what A-levels you need to study has actually been asked quite a lot. So I would say just, you know, I'm just saying that out here, don't worry too much, just make sure that you're on it. And most likely your university is going to allow everyone to learn how to program at the same sort of level. And that actually brings me to the next point that I want to talk about. And it's about learning how to program. So what makes someone a great programmer? And this was actually talked about, I think it was on TikTok or maybe a different YouTube video. I can't actually remember who was talking about this, but essentially if you've heard of Stack Overflow before, you will know that it's it is basically a forum where many programmers go on it to leave questions and to answer questions. And if you wanna be a great programmer, you just need to make sure that you are an excellent Google searcher because chances are the problems that you face when you're programming, especially in the early stages of your degree, someone would have encountered that before. And so if you know how to search Google properly to find answers for your specific programming problem, you're going to be on a very good way. I would say unless you're doing something that has never been done before, then nine times out of 10, you'll be able to find a solution or part of a solution to the problem that you're facing. So between now and when you start your degree, or even if you've started your degree already, I would say spend a lot of time learning how to program and doing things that will require you to search on Google solutions or parts of solutions for the problems that you're facing. I mean, what can I say? Great programmers also know how to search Google very well. <laughs> and I guess this links nicely to my next point, which is, in my opinion, the best way to learn how to program is by just doing it. But yeah, let's go on to the final consideration before you start your computer science degree. And that is that just because you study computer science, just because you're a great programmer, it doesn't guarantee you a high paying job after university. Now, I actually made a video talking about the best professions to go into after graduating. So if you haven't watched that, do click on it. I think it's on this side or this side, I can't remember. But what I would say is that if you have a computer science degree, which is a very valuable degree to have, you're not just limited to tech related jobs. If you wanted to, you could go into investment banking, you could go into law, you could go into consultancy. And what you will show to employers, especially if you get a good grade in your computer science degree, is that you are capable of being successful in a technically demanding subject. And that is a great thing to show to employers or anyone that you're trying to sell yourself to. So yeah, those are a few things that I wanted to share about studying computer science in the UK. You know, I hope this was a bit of a pep talk, but if you're going to study computer science and you're watching this video for that reason, you know, if you're watching for another reason, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> but if you're going to study computer science or any other degree, you're going to do amazing, believe in yourself and try your best and leave a comment down below. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions hit me up on my instagram like this video subscribe to my channel you know what i say already but for now thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time for another video